Hello YouTube, Arrow Assassin here today, and welcome back to another video on this time showing off the Honor Talents for Warlock class. So, this was requested, I am going to do probably every class anyways. And, uh, yeah, so, let's start off with the talents. We're going Destruction first, and then so on and so forth. So, Focus Chaos, which increases the damage by Chaos Bolt 65%, but no longer strikes additional targets affected by Havoc. So, having that extra increased damage on Chaos Bolt, like live, because it was a live talent back then, will be pretty nice. Felfister, Chaos Bolt, uh, basically creates something under the target that reduces all healing received by 50%. Cremation, Ear Incinerate, automatically applies Immolate, and Shadow Burn deals an additional 3% of the target's maximum health and fire damage if the target is not affected by Immolate. And Entrance and Flames, Shadow Burn roots the enemy's target for 3 seconds. This does not break from damage. And uh, apparently that was from Conflagrate or whatever it was called back then, so it's changed. Uh, Bane of Havoc um, curses the target with the um, curses the target with demonic bane, causing all your single target spells to also strike targets marked with the bane. Last ten seconds. Curse of Frag, uh, Frag. I'm just gonna call it Curse of Frag. Reduces the target's maximum health by twenty percent for ten seconds. Curse of Tongues uh, increases the casting speed for that target. Uh, Curse of Weakness reduces the physical damage. Nether Ward surrounds the target with a caster and basically reflects it, or reflects it back at him. Essien Strain is for draining life throwers so they do less damage to you. And Casting Circle makes you immune to being silenced and interrupt effects. So a lot of these are insanely good. I feel like this is going to be incredibly difficult. Here's the ones I'm kind of looking at. Focus Chaos, Felvisture, Entrenched in Flame, Curse of Frag, Curse of Frag, Curse of Weakness, Nether Ward, and Casting Circle. I feel like this is probably going to be the combo that I'm going to go with. Because for sure, I feel like Entrenched in Flame is going to be like number one, obviously. Because if you want to kite melee, it's just going to, it's easier that way. That way you'll survive easier, and etc. I feel like Nether Ward will also be probably one of the more popular choices. Just due to the fact that if you're facing casters, it'll be nice. There's not much else to say about it. It's just really nice for that. And then, pretty much those are the two I feel like are absolutely going to be taken for sure. And then the rest is just going to probably be dependent on what you are going to want to do. I mean, again, I'm not really an arena person, so a lot of people will probably pick something different. Not like, not every game will have a caster maybe for, and you will have to use another word. But I'm speaking personally for me because I'm a battleground slash world PvP person. For me personally, I probably will end up going Curse Weakness just because there's going to be a lot of melee, and I fully expect it. Uh, as much as fo Focus Chaos will be nice, so that is probably what I'm going to most likely run with most of the time. I'm obviously going to switch it up every once in a while, but for me personally, that is probably going to be what I'm going to be running with. Uh, now let's check out Demology, because Demology is actually really fun right now. I feel like I used to be a huge destruction person, but I've actually kind of liking Demology, and I haven't played Demology since Wrath of the Lich King. So, which is a very long time ago. <laughs> oh, now that I think about it. Anyways, uh, Single Magic. Command your summoned imp to remove all harmful magic effects and deals the targets 3% of their target health and fire damage. Your imp must be current active pet. Uh, Call of the Felt Hunter. So, this summons a demonic hunter to basically silence the person, so which will be nice. Uh, call the. Actually, no, sorry, I skipped one. Pleasure with Through Pain. While your succubus is active, your shadow damage is increased by 15% and reduces the cast time of Shadow Wolf. Call of the Felt Lord. This thing really annoyed me <laughs> back in the day. So. It's basically the same thing as live. You can stun it if if melee are on your butt. Then yeah, so this would be very useful. Uh, call observer, which is actually really really good on live when I face some demo locks. They was I feel like it was pretty it was pretty good. That's all I feel like. It would just if you summon, how do I put it? I don't know. You guys can just read it, and you guys all know what it what it means. So pause it here if you want to read it. Uh, next, Master Summoner, your Call of Dreadstalkers is now instant. Curse of Frag is the same thing. Actually, these next ones are basically the same thing. So, from the other ones, you guys know. So, um, here's what I'm thinking. Curse of Phil Hunter for the extra interrupt. 
Call of the Feller because there's so many freaking melee. Obviously, again, this will change on for arena players. So, I'm just talking about mainly myself, what I'm probably going to pick. And now comes the hard part. I feel like, again, because the instant Dreadstalkers is going to be really nice. So, I feel like as much, like, because if you have a Fell Lord, it won't be really that much of an issue because melee will just keep getting stunned. So, I feel like Curse of Weakness won't be a huge issue. Curse of Frag will definitely be nice, but I think I'm going to stick with Master Summoner. I feel like Demo is going to be really nice, this expansion pack. It, it, it's really going to be nice. I feel like this will definitely be a very good expansion pack for Demology. So, I would probably... I'm really recommending giving Demology a shot, this expansion pack, 100%. And last but not least, guys, we're going over the Affliction Warlock. So... Alright, we all know Curse of Tongues, Curse of Weakness, Curse of Frag. We've gone over it for all of the specs so far. Endless Affliction is here. Your Unstable Affliction deals the same damage as normal, but duration is increased by a few seconds. Soul Shatter and consumes all your damage over time effects, and five of the nearest enemies dealing damage on their total health. Gateway Mastery increases the range of your demonic gateway by 20 yards and reduces its cast time by 30%. And reduces the time often players can use your gateway. Rotten Decay, each time you drain life, deals damage, and increases the duration of your unstable affliction, corruption, and agony on the targets by one second. So now that Drain Soul is technically gone, I feel like I don't know if this is going to be a huge popular choice anymore because it's not your fill or anything. Uh, I'm sure lots of Affliction Warlocks will use that drain life, but I don't know if it will be as popular. Magical Damage Overtime Effects will strike their target for additional time for 20% of their damage is Shadow, or Curse to Shadow, and then Nether Ward. Uh, essence Drain and Casting Circle. So here's essentially what I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe Curse of Weakness again because of melee. Uh, that'll help against melee. Nether Word. And then I also saw an Affliction Warlock dueling with Casting Circle. And he was doing pretty good work with it. So I feel like that would be pretty useful. Um, but Endless Affliction could be pretty good too. So I feel like an Essence Drain because essentially if you're going to be healing yourself, then... Um, that would be nice as well. I feel like Casting Circle could be pretty good for Affliction. So, we'll give that a shot, obviously. So, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Uh, let me know what kind of combos you are going to plan on using. I always love hearing players' ideas on different combos for different classes. And we will see you guys for the next Honor Talent video.